Hey, Jason, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. So what was that experience like for you coming off the, the really good season you had, hitting the free agent market? Um, I'm sure it was a lot different than the last couple of times you've been on that market. What was that experience like for you and what did what drew you back to the 49ers? Oh, it was a good experience, man. It's always feel good to be wanted, um, you know, but my heart was always with, with San Fran. I mean, you know, I love the camaraderie we got with the team, the coaches, staff, training staff. Uh, you know, the amazing fans, the whole nine yards. Um, you know, uh, I was happy that we was able to get a deal done. And, you know, I'm just excited to see what we do this year. Jason, Kwan spoke to us and talked about how bringing that group back together really influenced him to make the return, not on just the defensive side, but on the offensive side as well. Is that, in a, is that what you see as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Kwan, Tart, Jimmy Ward, we all, kept in touch throughout the entire process. Um, you know, we all wanted to have another shot at it um, just because we know what we could do when we all out there on the field together. So being able to get everybody back, man, we, we, we excited to see the things that we could do. Jason, can you talk about that a little bit more about what you actually think you guys are as a secondary? I mean, the 49ers haven't committed a lot long-term to any of you. But you all seem to think that you have a great nucleus there. Why? Why do you think so? Um, just the way that you know our relationships are, man. We all we guys that hang out outside of the locker room. It's not like we're just in there, just only when we have to do business. So we got to we built a relationship that you know will probably go past football. So, um, but as far as just what we do as our skill sets, you know, obviously Jimmy and Tart they're interchangeable in what they could do. Um, K1 is probably one of the best nickels in the game. Uh, Mosley, myself, um, I felt that we dominant corners. So it's just something that we could bring to the table along with the guys that we're getting back with uh, Bosa um, and the rest of those guys up front, D, D Ford and all of them. So I think uh, with everybody healthy, man, we could be a dominant defense again. Jason, congratulations on, on coming back. I, I was wondering whether you've had any conversations with your new secondary coach, uh, Corey Undlin, and uh, if so, what he's like and whether you see any sort of uh, changes, philosophical changes coming um, to the secondary. Yeah, we just had a few conversations. It was just quick, you know, congratulations and him introducing us, introducing himself. Um, I haven't met with him in person. Um, you know, I'm excited to uh, work with him. I, I know a few people that were in Philly um, the year that they won the Super Bowl because uh, I played with two of them that was with the Chargers. So they spoke highly of them. And, you know, when that time comes around, when we're supposed to be in the building, man, I'm going to be excited to meet him. Jason, curious about your thoughts on um, the league adding a 17th game. And I know the idea is that uh, there's going to be more money allow allowed to the players, but not all players might see that it might go, you know, to the stars and to the quarterbacks. Just curious on what you think of the seventh, the 17th game and how it impacts the, the players. Um, it, it, it can be impactful in many ways, uh, but just how I'm going to look at it, just another game to go out there and, you know, play football um, at the end of the day. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of cut that answer a little short. And you know, I'm just, uh, you know, whatever, whatever happens with the schedule, how they go about it, man, you just play ball. Jason, I believe John Lynch said that there was another offer on the table that was for more than one year, but you kind of wanted to bet on yourself. Can you just take us through that process and why you made that choice? Yeah, um, you know, it, it was a lot of things that were factoring in. Um, you know, I definitely uh, was excited to pull off an, a one year just to be able to show the things that I could do back to back seasons. Um, I think it was beneficial for me um, just to be able to showcase that I can do it due to the fact of me being uh, injured uh, for the previous years. but. You know, we worked out a deal that was best on both sides, man, and I'm, I'm just excited to go out there and do it again. Hey, Jason, uh, congrats on the new deal. So in the secondary, there's you, there's Emmanuel, there's K1, but all you guys are under contract for one year. So let's say the 49ers do add a CB at some point in the draft. You're, you're the vet now. You're kind of the old man there. So have you ever played the mentor role, and are you looking forward to that? Um, yeah, well, KK, Tart, Jimmy, I mean, we all around the same age. Pretty much, I think, except for Tart, me, Jimmy, and KK all came in the same year. So our relationship that we have, man, we're all literally on the same page with everything. So I think from a mental standpoint, like we're all going to be able to lead by example um, and just feed off one another. So uh, I think it's going to be pretty dope.
Hey, Jason, I apologize for bringing this up, but so much of the early part of your career, the, the conversation has been about the injuries. Right. And last year, you, know, you played a, a full season, uh, you played very well, but the next time you step on the field, you're going to be 30 years old. Right. So what, what is it at your, this stage of your career? Do you feel like a young 30? Do you feel like the injuries have taken any toll on you? How, how do you kind of feel about just the thought of, you know, just having those injuries in your rear view mirror? Yeah, no, it's definitely one thing that's, that's behind me. You know, I was able to persevere through all of that. Um, not only credit myself, credit the Niners as well uh, for helping me throughout that process. Um, but yeah, I definitely am a young 30. You know, I, was, I, I felt that I showed that I could run with the best of them. Uh, last year, I could still cover with the best of them. Um, and I just got to go out there and just play at a high level. I think uh, at this point now with this, you know, obviously a new generation, the age isn't really factor in like a lot of people that maybe look 30, everybody's body is kind of a little bit different on how it takes a toll on them. But for me, you know, I'm strong, healthy and still feeling young. So um, as long as I can run, I think I'll be all right. Jason, you probably saw that uh, the, the league is contemplating changing the, the jersey number <laughs> um qualifications and you guys will be able to wear single digits um you know that you wore a single digit at tcu is that something you've thought about and is there any kind of buzz among you know you guys uh the db group uh, about jersey numbers now we actually haven't talked about it um but when i did see it i thought about going back to them tcu days and rocking that number two but uh to, speaking to my brother man he think he think i make 22 look good so I think I'll still stick with that, even if that rule uh, happens. Jason, the 49ers have been in the news a lot, obviously, for moving up to the number three spot in the draft. And while I don't expect you to talk about Jimmy Garoppolo, can you share what your relationship is like with Kyle and John? And, and because of that, you know, why you think, you know, the relationship between them and Jimmy Garoppolo may not be disturbed? Right, yeah, I don't know too much about their relationship, what they have. I just know that, you know, we all as a team and a, as an organization have the utmost respect for Jimmy. Um, and we trust him, we trust everything that he's done, obviously led the team to a Super Bowl. Um, but yeah, just as far as what they do with, with, with the draft and trading up, I mean, I got no control over that. I know John and uh, Kyle are going to do what's best for the organization and, you know, add players that we need to help us win. Jason, this is more like a general question about how you've seen the league sort of evolve in terms of officiating. Uh, you know, you look at the draft, and there's a guy like J.C. Horn, who's super long, super physical at the line of scrimmage. Um, but some people sort of wonder whether, you know, that'll translate with, with too much penalties. And I'm wondering just when you came in the league, how long did it take to sort of get a sense of what you could get away with at the line and how has officiating sort of evolved? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you're always going to have people when you're coming out of college, you know, try to speak about the pros and cons as you as an athlete. Um, it's just up to you to go out there and change that, change that narrative. Um, but as far as just officiating, man, it's a passing league, as, as we all know. Um, a lot of offensive players get away with things that, you know, more than the defensive player could get away with. But, you know, just when you're on between those lines, man, you just got to play ball. We'll do the last one with Cam. Jason, when, when you look around the league and especially the NFC West, I, mean, I guess how appealing is the fact that you're going to go against a couple of the best receivers in the league to kind of prove yourself again this year, whether it's Hopkins, Metcalf, whoever the Rams throw out there? Uh, I think it was meant to be for me to come back. Um, it's another way where I could go out there and dominate, uh, be the best guy that I could be for the team, um, going against some of the top guys in the league, like you mentioned with A.J. Green and D hop Metcalf and got to make sure my hamstrings is ready for DJ. Um, Cause you know, Deshaun's still out there running, but uh, now nah, I'm, I'm excited for it, man. The more, more competition we can have in, in our division, man, it's going to be better off for, for us as players. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs>